Hey, what's going on, everybody? I uh, hope everybody's staying safe, practicing their social distancing, and doing everything they can to uh, avoid being a statistic here during this uh, international pandemic. So I just wanted to show you guys something that I find uh, to be not only interesting, but it's enhanced my phone experience big time. I'm a huge, huge fan of dark mode, and I have been for a very long time, been using it um, ever since the, the Nokia Lumia days on the, the Windows smartphones. It's kind of taken a while to propagate to places like iOS and iPhone. Uh, on Android, depending on the platform you use, you've had versions of dark mode for a long time now, several years. And it's really gone mainstream over the past year or two. And many popular apps now have a dark mode. But there are some holdouts still, some that don't have dark mode yet. And then you've got some apps that have a dark mode on their Android version, but not their iPhone version, or vice versa. They have a dark mode on their iPhone version, not their Android version. So this will work um, for Samsung Galaxy uh, smartphones running on the latest build of Android and One UI. Probably gonna work for a number of Android phones in general. So what this is going to do is give you dark mode in apps that do not have a native, um, public, stable dark mode just yet. So here's what you wanna do to get dark mode on apps that still don't have dark mode. Go into your settings. You're gonna to wanna to enable developer settings. Now I have it uh, enabled already, developer options, uh, but if you don't know how to do that, just go into your about phone section, go to software information, then you're gonna to wanna to keep tapping on the build number until it says developer mode has been enabled on the bottom. Mine says that it's already been turned on. So once you turn on developer options, go back into settings, go into developer options, and you wanna find, you can just search it. You wanna find force dark mode, all right? Just start typing force dark mode. You'll see it here. You tap on that, it goes to force dark mode. Mine is on, you're gonna find it off when you go to it. And with it off, you know, only the dark mode that you set in your phone's regular settings is going to be on. But if dark mode is on, on your phone, and then you put this on as well, just toggle that on, force dark mode. It says force apps to use dark mode, even if not fully supported. Now you've got dark mode and apps on here that do not have a dark mode just yet. Let's go back to the home screen and let me show you what I'm talking about. So, for example, let's say we want to go to uh, the Weather Channel. The Weather Channel app does not have a dark mode on Android just yet. Now it does, all right? Scroll down here and you see it's in a dark mode. Looks just fine, everything is legible. Easier on your battery, nicer on the eyes. All right, what else didn't have a dark mode? Uh, let's try ESPN. ESPN has does not have a dark mode quite yet on Android, but now it does. Force dark mode on, and you've got dark mode here in your ESPN app. All right, how about that, huh? What else do we have here? Let's try, let's do Tinder. Tinder, dark mode. All right, that's right. You've got dark mode on Tinder now. Let's go to our profile settings here. Everything's in dark mode now, even though your list of messages and all that. I'm not gonna get into that, but what else do we have here? How about Amazon? Even Amazon, dark mode now. All right, scroll down. See everything's in dark mode here. The backgrounds are all dark. All right, the menus, dark. Let's show you one more here. How about eBay? eBay is now in dark mode. It otherwise does not have a dark mode by default. Okay, now, is this a foolproof thing? Not exactly. Uh, there are some places you could run into some, uh, some issues. I noticed that on some keyboards, especially if it's like a dark themed or a black themed keyboard, um, you might have an issue with some buttons not showing the, the writing that's on them, but play with that, see what works, what's compatible with it. And that's really the only uh, problem I've run into. Real quick guys, just one thing I forgot to mention. Every time you restart or shut off your phone, 
when you reboot it, when you turn it back on, you will have to go back into developer options and toggle on force dark mode again if you want that to work again. So I don't know why it doesn't just stay on, but I don't know how often you restart or uh, shut off your phone. Um, I think for most of us, it's not very often. So hopefully that's not too big of a deal. Very simple. You just go into that option, toggle it on. So uh, just something to keep in mind if you plan on using this. This is awesome. I love it. Uh, it's perfect for me. And if you want to uh, enjoy dark mode on more apps than just the ones that support it, just do what I told you to in this video. All right, just wanted to share that with you guys. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next one.